Hey, Fred here with a how to use the Lil Envelope A2. All of our products feature a, a hot melt, pressure sensitive glue. Just make sure when sealing it, use the base of your palm, much like kneading bread. Actually, if I do an example here, base of my palm ensures you'll always get a nice tight seal. In fact, while I'm on close up, you can uh, see the detail of um, you know, the uh, FSC credentials, the fact that it's plastic free, UK made. And actually you could probably see all the recycled fibre content in there. From an unboxing experience point of view, uh, see this open tab here. There's what we call a li little herringbone perforation. No plastic, but allows you to go straight through and open the package like so. It has the ability to form box capacity, uh, like all of our little envelopes now. So if you push at the side while forcing it down, it will create that box like capacity inside. I've got some clients using uh, A2s for hardware and tools. Just slip it inside there and it will make box form around that. So um, finished package looking just like this. The little A2 envelope um, was actually designed primarily to be able to get two DVDs back in 2007 <laughs> through the Royal Mail Large Letter Tariff. When using you know, uh, last century's popular choice. The issue uh, that they had was that uh, when putting two DVDs inside here, upon transit, you can get overlap uh, because it's so baggy inside a, a bubble mailer. Two DVDs side by side, you can probably hear the friction that I had getting that in there. There is no way that they can overlap within there. Two DVDs through the largest uh, the lowest cost tariff large letter was actually saving in the region of about £2 per item posted. Obviously console games being a slightly smaller size than DVD all went through the same manner. Today the A2 is being used a huge amount and many millions for legal document folders. You'll see that actually even the folder goes neatly inside the little A2 envelope uh, with plenty of room to get the flap over. We say with any invention that we come up with we want to follow our surf method, sustainability, unboxing experience, reduce returns and faster fulfillment. So sustainability, obviously a big tick on this one. Unboxing experience, well you can print them as nice as anything as I've got behind here and it's more challenging to do that with a bubble mailer. And reduce returns, well you've got so much more corner protection out of corrugated than you ever will out of a bubble mailer. For our largest client, they reported a reduced returns rate of some 60 odd percent. Uh, and in terms of faster fulfillment, a mailer opening on the long edge will always be you know, up to 15% faster than an envelope opening on the short edge. The overhanging release paper makes it so much easier to peel that off uh, than it ever would with a bubble mailer where it's just inline double sided tape and you have to pick that off with your, your bottom nail. So this is a plea not just from a logical point of view to consider something faster but to stop using anything unsustainable. You know whether you choose one of our products or something else in the marketplace that is sustainable. I plea for that but in the meantime, mail happy.